And welcome to your Go Market Update for today, the 4th of August 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst with Go Markets, to lead you through what's happening today. Let's have a look at what's come across the news wise. To start with, of course, US markets closed higher on a broad based rally last night. Earnings are positive, and NASDAQ hit a three month high. SP 500 and the Dow slightly lagging in terms of performance over the last three months, but nevertheless, they are very positive compared to where we were two months ago. It was certainly held by some global PMI data, generally beating expectations and obviously oil dropping towards that $100 level has helped market sentiment also. US futures are near neutral pending more key data and earnings today and Asian indices are following a positive US lead with the ASX up around 0.3%. US futures are also suggesting a higher open. US index didn't move much yesterday, paused around a key level, and gold is trading mid-range between 1750 and 1800, as we've discussed throughout the week. Oil is weaker again, as we've already referenced, and the VIX is lower, eyeing April lows now. Copper is pausing under that 350 level, but again, we may see that move subsequent to the data and earnings that come out later. Bitcoin remains in a short-term range below that 23,700, but above 21,500. And of course, we've got another big earnings day today, just Alibaba, Eli Lilly and ConocoPhillips in the energy sector, amongst many stocks reporting their results. On the data front, we've got German factory orders, the UK interest rate decision, which will obviously have a major impact on the GB pound if it veers from what's expected and US weekly jobs. We've also, of course, got non-farm payrolls tomorrow, which is the big data point, which markets may be cautious about for the rest of the day, perhaps. Let's just look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, we're going to start with the US yen, and we've had quite a lot of movement on this over the last couple of weeks. We saw that dollar drop across all currencies, and then we saw a candle with a long tail, suggesting a bounce off this support at 132 and a move higher. Pretty neutral today, but just watch this level around about 134.90 over the next couple of days. If those non-farm payrolls come in a little hot, we may see this start to move higher again as that gives a little bit of a green light to the Fed to do some action. So US dollar yen is going to be of interest over the next couple of days. We've been tracking lithium stocks for most of the week and on the ASX we've interested in PLS and you can see we've got a break now of that 282. This has been a chart of the day a couple of times over the last month as we've broken these key levels. You can see that break through the 200 MA around about two weeks ago and then a shot up over a couple of days to test this 282 and be the pause in around that level for the last three trading sessions. So this break could be significant. We could see a move up to three dollars in the short term and ultimately perhaps up as far as 330. We like lithium stocks at the moment and they remain very bullish across the board. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.